What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of the Call of Terror podcast. A solo episode today, no guests. You know what? Frick them. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know if this is true, but someone told me, like, if you curse very much, if you curse up top, you... Uh, there's a chance of uh, demonetization. And, you know, I got to get that money. Who owns Who owns YouTube? Google? Who's Google? There's like an Indian guy and some other guy with blonde hair, right? Some artistic guy. Anyway, <laughs> whoever they are, I want to get that money. So I'm not going to be saying frick. And um, I won't be saying other slurs. Um, what's, a, what's another word for bitch? What can I say? Mm. Buddy? Uh, mm. You know, I, I, banged, I banged some... Bint? A bint? Yeah, Some bimbo. <laughs> what do what do Christians call whores? Just whores? Uh, harlots. Harlots. Hussies. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. And what do what's what's a what's a polite version of the M word? What's the nicest version I can get? <laughs> sound off in the comments. Leave, leave, sound off in the comments below, folks. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure you hit subscribe. Leave a comment in below. Leave me, give me a good. Uh, <laughs> Give me, I need like a thesaurus for the M word. I'm trying to replace all the bad words in my life with, um, you know, uh, you know, acceptable language. So what would you say would be a good uh, version of the M word there, folks? <laughs> um, something that I can get away with. And I, <laughs> and I don't mean like replace it with like ninja, you know? Mm-hmm. I don't want to say ninja. I've got to say like like a different word that's accepted. Brother man? Sure. Is brother man good? No, I like that. I like that word actually. It, it was co-opted. I, like I know it's only it's like a joke. It's like what's up, brother man? Like it's like some sort of like it, it's an impression of a white guy doing a racist impression of a black guy. But I do like the word brother man. <laughs> like I yeah. text people brother man, and I say brother a lot. And I was talking to a black guy yesterday. All right, I was interviewing people uh, for like roles behind the scenes here, folks. And there was a black guy, and I always say brother, but I always find myself if I talk to a black guy. And I say, brother, I don't want them to think that I just said that because I'm trying to relate right. to a black guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's weird. I go, what's up, brother? Man, <laughs> fuck. Frick. Double down. Frick. <laughs> you know these these uh, hussies be out here, brother? <laughs> um, right. In the news, Jesse Williams, actor from Grey's Anatomy. I never watched it. I'm not a 55-year-old woman going through <laughs> menopause. Um but his nudes got leaked um, online. Pretty much, Jesse Williams, if you know him, we might be able to get him up on screen here. He's a black guy. Does he have green eyes or blue eyes or something? So that's weird. That's a weird look, usually, mm. when you're a black guy. Like, is he black? What is that? Is he Mexican? He's kind of, you know, he could do whatever he wants. He's, he's mm. one of these guys, who, you know, <laughs> if he he if he goes into a bod- bodega in New York, I think they'll give him an Arab discount as long as he just doesn't say anything. He's got that look about him. I used to work with a guy like that who was Mexican, but he kind of looked um, Arab. Mm. So he would go up and he'd kind of just nod and they would give him the little Arab discount. Nice. My surcharge is get is giving him a discount. Mm. We'd both go in and buy a bottle of Gatorade. You know, $5 for me, it's a dollar for the other guy. All he has to do is, pra- is praise Allah a little bit. <laughs> so this is like a racially ambiguous. Well, we're about to see his cock now in a few minutes, so then you can probably assume what race he is. <laughs> but his eyes are the light blue. His blue-eyed angel, the blue-eyed devil. He's got blue-eyed devil eyes. <laughs> and um, some chain. Is he gay? Do we know his sexuality? I'm not like put money on it that he's gay. You know, he has a sort of a gay, he has gay lips, if that's a thing. <laughs> um, I read before that there was a, <laughs> I don't know if this is true or not, but I did read before that they did this a, a test. Does gay face? Do you know that? Everybody, look. Have a look at Johnny, Johnny, Johnny Glover there in the field. That's gay face right there. Um, no, there is there is such thing as gay face. There was these scientists got to the bottom of gay face, and um, Google that. One of you guys Google that while I'm talking. About. There's like a gay. There was like a science scientific study for gay face, and what they did was they showed people a hundred photos of men some of them were gay some of them were not and you had to say whether or not you thought they were gay and 70 percent of the gay people were pointed out as gay you know i don't know if this you know the type of fucking right-wing horseshit that i'd be watching so i don't know if this was true or not i don't know if they doctored it it was probably some sort of a russian anti-pedophilia 
gay propaganda type thing mm. where it's just like you can tell he's gay because of his little horns <laughs> if you st- if you look closely you see that you see the pedophiles <laughs> 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 you know the way the russians are there is no such thing as gay what is next he fuck little boy <laughs> that's their like their, the, the, it's like they think being gay is a gateway drug to fucking your son and mm. um, Everybody, I'm sorry to bring this podcast to a screeching halt, but I gotta get paid. So this episode is brought to you by Sheet Underwear. Boys, your nuts stink. I'm sick of telling you. Every boy's nuts, they smell like a fucking old pair of socks. You got to figure out a way to get these girls to engulf your manhood, all right? <laughs> Copyright that. TM that. I don't know what TM means, but you're, that's a engulfing manhood? That's like a that's like a sh- that's like a skitch. I don't know what that is. It's a skitch. <laughs> Copyright that word too. Anyway, anyway, back to me talking to you, <laughs> peddling my shit. Um, sheet underwear um, is a new revol- revolutionary style of boxers for men. Uh, what happens is it's not only is it comfortable, and I do wear them. I've gotten a lot of them, and I wear them all the time. That's no lie. I promise you. I don't know how you can tell if I'm lying or not, but that is the truth. I wear these all the time. Um. She don't know where they've designed a special pouch in the front. I don't know if they use the word pouch. I'm going to say pouch. And what happens is you put your nuts in one bag and you put your dick in another bag. It separates them. A little bit of good old-fashioned segregation, let me say. <laughs> um, so your nuts and your dick, they're not rubbing off each other. And then your nuts aren't touching your legs anymore. I don't know if you've ever um, had jock itch. I've, I've, been, I've suffered through jock itch over the years. It is one of the worst things known to man. You cannot achieve anything in life with the pain of jock itch. But thanks to sheet underwear, you will not get uh, jock itch anymore. Doctors, 9 out of 10 doctors, and I can guarantee this is true, 9 out of 10 doctors say that sheet underwear will cure um, whatever disease you have down there. This is a fact. You can't get AIDS if you have sheet underwear on. This is These are true, and I back it up. This is what they say in the in the copy. You cannot get AIDS if you wear sheet underwear, and you also cannot go to jail, jail for statutory um <laughs> violations <laughs> if you wear sheet underwear this is a this is this is truth trust me if you're mexican you need these underwear stay out of prison mexicans you need sheet underwear <laughs> it's too hard not to say awful things when i'm told not to say them i don't even I, I, am i a hack what's going on i hope this was worth me s- stopping the podcast and losing a sponsor it's just so much fucking fun because if these sponsors leave, I genuinely need them. That's the other thing. All these other guys, Tim Dillon, Ari Shafir, they're millionaires. Who gives a fuck if they sell whatever they sell? I need these guys. <laughs> and I cannot stop talking about horrible things you can do. If you wear sheet underwear, you can say slurs on the street. If you wear sheet underwear, you can burn a cross in someone's garden and you won't get in trouble. These are, this is a fact. <laughs> we guarantee that here at Sheet Underwear. Um, all jokes aside. They are good underwear. Don't have your dick. I don't know about you guys, but when I go for a piss, um, more often than not, it's like, it's like, am I done? And my dick goes, yeah, I'm done. I go, are you sure? And he goes, yeah. And then I put my dick in my pants and he goes, ah, kidding. And it pisses some more. I don't know why he does that. I don't know what that disease is, incontinence. I don't know where it comes from, but it wasn't always that way. I'm not a 90-year-old man, but I piss myself every day. She underwear does help me separate that piss from my balls and my legs. My <laughs> balls have never been, I've smelled better. My girl is sucking on them all day, every day. She can't just, she's like, blah, 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 sheet underwear, thank God. <laughs> gobble, 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 you little ball slut. Um, so listen, buy yourself some sheet underwear, be a man, keep those nuts smelling fresh. Stop that jock itch coming on. If you want to buy some sheet underwear, go to uh, sheetunderwear.com and use the promo code. And this is crucial. Otherwise, this whole thing would have been a waste of time. Go to sheetunderwear.com and use the promo code COLLIE. That's C-O-L-L-I-E. And you will get 20% off right now. Head over there. They don't just sell underwear. They've got a bunch of other stuff. Um, I also just did the podcast with Robert Sheet, the creator of um, Sheet Underwear. And he's the man. Uh, he rules. He's an ex-army veteran. He bu- he killed a bunch of Iraqis or something. I don't really know. I don't really know. I have no idea. He, but, he, you know, he just fucking killed a couple of innocent people. And uh, so let's support this American hero by buying his debt underwear, okay? <laughs> Buy this man's underwear. Head over to sheetunderwear.com. Use the promo code Collie for 20% off. All right, back to the show.
Yeah. So that's what they that's that's probably what it was. I was on some sort of a fucking Ben Shapiro deep dive <laughs> thing and the next thing you know I'm going, Yeah, you can tell they're gay because <laughs> of their perfect eyebrows. But there is a there is a look. Right? There is a gay thing. I'm not saying all gays have it, but there's certain people where you go, y- you have to be gay. There's like a, there's a poutiness to the lips. There's a f- Sasha Fierce. They've got, Sassiness. They've got a Sasha Fierce, Sasha Fierce, dude. It's just <laughs> fucking Beyonce vibing. If you're Beyonce vibing, you're, you're a fucking, you're a bender, dude. That's the end of it. <laughs> Nothing wrong with the benders, but I'm just saying, they got to develop something. I know it's been done to that. Bill Burr had a joke before about like how every gay person has a gay voice. You know, it doesn't even matter where you're from, whether you're from New York, it's like, hey. Or then if you're from the South, it's just like, hey. It's like, <laughs> you never hear them like, oh, like a guh-huh. I can't wait to suck some dick tonight. Guh-huh. Y'all going to put your dick in my ass. <laughs> um, and the Lord shall repent on my penis. Um, it's always just been like, woo. <laughs> I said, there is a thing about it. It's fucking weird. I know, I know someone who did. Uh, I used to date a girl. Her little brother was gay, but he didn't have a lisp until he came out as gay. Next thing you know, he's like, <laughs> he had the gay thing. And I remember going, I think it's sucking cock. I think when you suck cock as a guy, you get a get, you get a, like a sort of a lisp. And I don't know. It's it's been. It's been psyoped. <laughs> I'm always using this word. It's been co-opted. The, the the lisp has been really p- taken on as the for the gay guys. Mm. Gay guys have embraced it. Um, because I someone else told me again. I'm just full of all this knowledge that I'm re- re- learning on 4chan. But <laughs> <laughs> this is all my information. But uh, apparently, if you, with people's accents and stuff, it's when they're when they get put under anest- anesthesia. That you know, and you sort of wake up and you're kind of delirious. You start to lose that. So a gay guy, when he when he get, comes out from a fucking coma or whatever, he's not like, "What day is it?" He's just like, <clears throat> "Oh God, what a what a sleep, what a slumber. Why did you awake me from my slumber?" And he goes, "Oh, excuse me, I had a little nap, did I? Did I? I had a little snoozy snooze. I had a little snoozy snooze. Boy, were I dreaming." Um, so I guess there is a thing. What do they call that when you change your accent? They call it um, code switching. Code switching. Yeah, I'm a big code switcher, dude. Mm. Absolutely, I'll be <laughs> code switching like a motherfucker. They say it's bad though, is it? It's only bad if and we would trust me, guys. Don't go anywhere. We will get back to Jesse. What's his, William's big fucking <laughs> giant gay dick? Before we talk about this man's penis, we must get to the bottom of his sexuality. All right, all, all things must be considered. Mm. Well, we'll do a gigantic deep dive into, <laughs> into the mannerisms of a gay man. Apparently, he's a straight guy. Fuck off. No. Well, I guess I don't know from his face, but he has like, because I would guess, if I was to guess, I don't know what his um, background is, but I would guess that uh, he's wearing contacts, because like, just, it's very rare you have someone of that skin color with those type of eyes. Mm. And his teeth look done. His, his his beard is very well trimmed. It's a gay guy. Look at his fucking ch- chains. <laughs> he's, he's wearing necklaces. He's not even wearing, wearing chains like a gangster. He's, a, he's wearing a necklace. <laughs> he's gay. He's, well, he's probably Hollywood straight, which means, you know, he just sucks off a little bunch of boys. <laughs> don't know. Delete that. Delete that. <laughs> frickin', a frickin' Christ. I don't want to get demonetized by accusing this guy of being a pedophile. Um, but is code switching bad? It's only bad if you're a white guy who talks like a fucking, like he's from the hood. Mm. Like you and your dumb wigger friends there. Exactly. Yeah. What's up, son? It's Liddy. Um, but then when you get home, you go, Mom, <laughs> salmon for dinner? You know I don't like salmon. <laughs> yes, I'll have some butternut squash soup, Mom. Um, is that what happens when you get home? But I'd be code switching all the time because... I'm not trying. I don't know what the, the the rules are behind it, but when I go home, I I have an American accent right now. A lot of people might not believe it. You guys probably don't hear it, but Irish people are like, "Look at you, you fru." They go like, <laughs> they'll make fun of me. They'll they'll hear me say something like garbage instead of rubbish, and they go, "Oh, you're a fucking dickhead. <laughs> you're a fucking dope. Bloody you yank. are, huh? Yank. 
Yeah, you dirty yank. Why don't you go and fucking... Why don't you bomb the Middle East, you cunt? <laughs> Good, yeah, fuck off. What's that, the sidewalk? I'm about to curb stomp you, you fucking dope, yeah. Um, but when I get home, then I get, like, instantly just... <laughs> uh, uh, straight back to the fucking the Dublin accent. How you doing? Today is bread today. Welcome to Dublin FM. Where we all talk like we've got something in our throat. <laughs> uh, we've got a little bit of phlegm in our throat, and the next song coming up after the break will be called Fuck the Queen, I Shit in Our Mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to fuck a British soldier's daughter. <laughs> and then they sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> I fucked the British soldier's daughter in the hole, up the hole. Yes, I fucked the British daughter up the hole. We don't want to fuck the British daughters. Uh, yeah, so yeah, I'd be code switching all the time anyway. And gay people be code switching all the time, and um, when they come out of the coma, so that's when you really need to find out. You got to figure out when you come out of a gay coma. Mm-hmm. Don't know how you get in there. <laughs> some sort of apps, <laughs> something, <laughs> some sort of filth. And not that much. Some sort of accident in a steam room, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> some sort of uh, yeah, a sauna mishap causes you to go into a gay uh, coma. <laughs> and uh, you come out, but another one with the which is nuts for the human brain. I don't know if they're mentally like I don't know if they're doing it on purpose, but it's certainly what happens. Do you ever hear people who have a stroke or something, and then they can speak Chinese? Like, do you ever mm-hmm. heard that? <laughs> do you yeah. ever heard like that's that's the craziest thing, where it's like they say apparently your your subconscious or your um yeah your subconscious is picking up on everything that happens all the time. Yeah, like some people will like remember a language that they only knew as a kid or something and I've heard that one. Yeah, yeah that's one thing, right? Yeah, and they right. can't remember but it comes back. I've also heard as like when you're dreaming, you you only see people that you've seen in real life. You don't right. create new people. That's interesting. But that's fucking nuts too. It's like yeah. my brain is just storing all this horse shit yeah. <laughs> and not giving me access to it. <laughs> my brain's like, yeah, yeah, I'm just hoarding all this information. <laughs> Meanwhile, I don't know my mother's fucking date of birth. I don't know what my mother's birthday is. And meanwhile, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. I just, I've got 45 million people's faces stored back here. <laughs> or what happens is you have a stroke and then people just like, they've picked up. In the background, you've heard enough fucking people speaking Spanish in the, in the kitchen while you're ordering your food. Mm. Um, so then you can just speak kitchen Spanish, <laughs> you know? So then you just wake up from the coma and you're just like, eh, que pasa, <laughs> chupa melapinga. <laughs> but that's another one. It's like, yo, fuck you, brain. Just picking that shit up mm. and just choosing not to have it attainable. That'd be pretty awesome that you come up, you, you just, you, you crack your head off the sink, you slip and crack your head off the sink and then you come up and you're all just like fucking, could you do it? Oh, do it! Oh, my head! And you're like grabbing your girlfriend. Don't do it! 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 You're just running around the house like an anime character. Don't do it! 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 You can't speak any English at all. She's like, what happened? Could I do it! <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to speak English then you're going me hungry <laughs> like when someone has a car accident and they're trying to learn how to walk again and stuff and it's like it's like a TikTok. Hello, my name is Mr. Colon Tyrell, and this is the story of when I hit my head and had to relearn English. <laughs> At first, I could not do it. <laughs> it's like a slow montage. Boom. Like a, like a <laughs> It's me sitting there reading the fucking books in, in school. I have to go back to school. I'm going, go, go, I'm going to get frustrated. <laughs> Times were tough. My wife, she never leave on my side. <laughs> I'm like, I'm at school, like a kindergarten with these kids. Black sheep. <laughs> that is... So fucking funny. Ring Ryan Long. Get him on the phone. I've got a sketch. A guy. 
that guy hits his head off the sink and has to relearn English, but he has a Japanese accent for some reason. <laughs> the most offense, by the way, it's like, I woke up, I could only uh, speak a Japanese. <laughs> and he, like, he goes to like a Japanese guy, and the guy's like, that's not, that's just, you're just, that's just gibberish. You're just making noises. You're, that's not even close to Japanese. <laughs> so funny. So funny. Clip it. Clip it. Send it to Joe Rogan. Clip it. Send it to Joe. I'm coming on the show. I've proven my worth. Anyway, let's get back to this gay guy's dick. Um, <laughs> enough of that hacky shit. <laughs> that hacky freaking shit. Um, so Jesse Williams, if you don't know, he's part of a gay play. And I do, I do think it's fair to say it's a gay play, right? I may or may not be wrong. Fonzie in the boot. You did some research. What's the, the what's this? Sh- it's called Take Me Out. Take like, take my ass out. Take my ass out. Yeah, like <laughs> gay baseball. It's players. called Dick Me Out, is it? Yeah. Is it called? It's called Dick Me Out. Dick I believe. Me Out to the ball game. Dick Me Out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's called Dick Me Out, and it's about a baseball player who comes out as gay. Yeah. Like, I'd love to see it. I got. We got to go watch this. By the way, it's a it's a Broadway play, um, and it's very gay. It's about a baseball player, and I want to know like. Do they gay him up? Like, is it like almost? Uh, if I know plays and I know the way Broadway is, you know it's it's like hacky to like like you know he's gonna be coming out and swinging his back. Mm. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Kyoink! Kadoink! Wow! Home run! Yay! <laughs> Yay! Yankees! Woo! You know. <laughs> and meanwhile, there's a guy on the team. You know, he's like chewing on his fucking. He's chewing on the tobacco. Yeah. We don't like queers. <laughs> Baseball is America's pastime. There's no time for gays around here. <laughs> and then he beats him. It's like pretty good for a gay guy. <laughs> hey, you better watch out. I'm the number one pitcher on this team. <laughs> and then it turns out that he's actually gay too. Mm-hmm. You know, they have some sort of a moment. They tussle in the bathroom and then they fuck each other in the fucking showers. You know, it's the way it is. <laughs> um, so it's a gay show. And then part of this Broadway show is that he, this guy is naked for a lot of it, I guess. And um, which again, isn't like artistic. <laughs> it's, like a, it's like a funny prank you do in, in college. You would ruin a party by dipping your dick in someone's red cup, you know? You'd go dip your balls in the punch bowl and go, woo! And everyone goes, Shainer, Shainer! Ho, 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 ho. Yeah, exactly. He's naked, yes. Whereas these are like, no, it's artistic. This is Broadway. Get that guy's big black dick out here. Lights, camera, dick. Yeah, break your dick. Break a dick. Break a dick there, Jesse. Um, so... It's it's I don't think this is like incredible, but they just like they're it, Broadway's run by a bunch of gay men. They want to see some guy's big dick, so they pretend like it's some sort of a fucking, uh, you know, like a I don't know Hemingway or some sort of like artisticy like no, it's the beauty of the human body. When really they're just they're just want to they're perverts. <laughs> they want to see a big hog, <laughs> and this guy's got a big fucking hog, and they recorded it. Sorry. So what they do is on the show is uh, on in 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 the in the play, they make everybody, um, they make everybody um, put their phones in the couch in the in the pouches like the way Chappelle did, but which is also by just built on an honor system. It's like, hey, put your phone in here, and then people just go, I just did that, yeah, and then they just have their phone on them. Yeah. So it's like they're not gonna scan you down. We saw last week Chappelle got attacked. By a trans man. <laughs> and um, turns out, and I have to apologize. We got to redact the statement, actually. Quick, turn. I want to apologize for last week's episode where I said that uh, Dave Chappelle was um, attacked on stage by a trans man. <laughs> turns out it was it was just a regular, normal man. Turns out it was just a, a good old-fashioned, proper man. A 100% real man. <laughs> and I misquoted because I didn't realize that Chappelle was making a joke. When he said it was a trans man, okay. he when he said it was a trans man, <laughs> he 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 was joking. But I I just read it, so the uh, the nuance was lost. So I want to apologize to the trans community. That's nothing to do with you. 
And again, humor lost. Something happens in that transition where your sense of humor gets fucking fried. I don't know what happens when they cut off your dick or or, or <laughs> give you a new dick. I don't know what happens, but humor is on the other side of that fucking surgery. Back to the show. All right. Um, yeah, so um, they put the phone in the thing, but there was some sluts at the show, and they took out their phone, and they recorded it, and then they posted it like on Instagram, and then it got leaked, and it went viral all across um, Twitter. And... Uh, there's been a lot of reactions. Some people are saying that it's um, sexual assault. I guess there is. There's, listen, can we just enough with the sexual assault when you do it to a man? All right, we gotta just. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, I'm being facetious because I'm a legend. Um, but you know, you've got a big nine piece hammer can we get a photo is there a photo there we can yeah. show people this won't be your full, real dick we'll put up behind the patreon so there it's blurred out which is um, just so you know there's like what 12 pixels there what's that 4 by 4 yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just, just so you know for me <laughs> one pixel <laughs> just so you know no need I would be very grateful if they if, if that happened to me and someone just did one pixel I'd be like come on bro just fucking add a couple of pixels dude <laughs> what's my size it's, just, it's, a, it's a couple of pixels Anyway, so someone s- sent a video of him with his gigantic piece. Go Google it right now if you want. Jesse Williams. <laughs> Although I don't believe in uh, the fappening or whatever. Mm. Um, but you know what? It's not, it, you know, it's not going to damage his legacy in any way. Mm. The play is retarded already, just so you know. <laughs> I, I need to go see this. I need to find out what's going on. <laughs> yeah. You know there's a guy who bullies him, but he <laughs> just keeps p- outperforming everyone. And then somehow, you know... The team can't win without him, so they're like, you know what? For a gay guy, you know how to play ball. <laughs> and then at the end, his, his, the guy he hates ends up sucking him off and getting fucking absolute <laughs> arse r- <laughs> fucked in the in in the dugout. You know, you know, there's some absolute. You want to see the bottom of my nine? <laughs> yeah. Just catch some balls. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> wow. My, pff, he puts his yeah, he's putting his hand in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> Where else can that hand go? Whoa. You wanna see my baseball bat? Hey, check out these balls. <laughs> hey. It's not even in your end though. Hey, shove your shove your gay dick in my gay ass. <laughs> Wait, what? That's not even <laughs> It starts off, they just start running out of things. Yeah. Wow. Take me out to the gay sex game. <laughs> do, 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 do. Come in my face. Buy me some penis and Cracker Jacks. Yeah. <laughs> shove your <laughs> shove your penis in my mouth and my ass and then back in my mouth. <laughs> Not even. <laughs> At the beginning, it's like, what else? Just like, what was it called again? Take, take my ba- me out. Take my back out. <laughs> <laughs> Blow me out. <laughs> Blow my back out. Part two. <laughs> Tennis. <laughs> oh, it's a game of love. It's a game of lust. It's a game of gay sex. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but plays do this thing. They get very up their own ass. They do this thing. Well, they'll smoke. You know, they smoke on stage because mm-hmm. it's like a... It makes this, it's like uh, the, the wonders of the theater. And this is a big, big black cock. Anyway, um, you know, there's a scandal. People are saying that it's, uh, you read up on this, um, didn't you already? I've actually lost the the link that I had already. Um, but uh, Fonzie, you read up on it about what people are saying was that it was like sexual assault or something, or at least it's some sort of a harassment or something. Yeah, harassment? Yeah, sexual harassment. It could, I, is harassment the right word? And a breach of consent, which... It's right. a breach... Yeah, what? So what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> Fuck your consent. You know, I don't, I don't need consent to see your big dick, dude. <laughs> These are the, You're showing already. How many people did you already show? It's not a breach... Of, it's a fucking... It's, if Anton, it's copyright. Hmm. If Anton, he's upset because less people are going to pay in to see the show. Also, may I add, I promise you the show's it's spiked in sales. Oh, yeah. Spiked. Never even heard of this gay show until this came out. Yeah. And by the way, if that sexual assault, sign me up. Oh, no. <laughs> did, did, did more people find out about my gigantic <laughs> weapon that I'm dangling around? It's huge, by the way. It's a fucking piece. 
Like it's one of those dicks where you go, you must like. Is there is that like a stage thing? Are you, is, is there some sort of lighting? Is maybe he's wearing one of those cups that goes over it? It's a prop. <laughs> you know those extensions? Mm. I looked into one of those extensions recently for my girl. You know, it's kind of like it's like a condom that's really thick. So you can put oh. you put pu- it on you put it on. You got a big nine nine inch weapon. You know. And she was like, nah. You know. She goes, nah. Your cock is your cock is just fine. <laughs> yeah, that's what I want to know. That's what I want to hear. How was his cock? Fine. <laughs> that fine is what men say when they're depressed mm. and they don't want to tell you their feel feelings. How are you? I'm fine. Yeah. That means it's horrible. <laughs> if a girl says your cock is fine, you should kill yourself. <laughs> That's what happens. For the same with my girl. My girl once was she said she wanted to fuck me with a dildo or something, right? And I said, here's what we'll do. <laughs> you can fuck me with a dildo, right? But it it it's it, it can only be my size oh. it's got to be model because if you're taking my dick in your ass all right i'm not taking the bigger dick and and i go you can only fuck me with a dildo that's my size and then she said no i want to fuck you with a big dick and i went fuck <laughs> what are you doing to me i was already not on board and now you're <laughs> crushing my feelings <laughs> what do you think you're not? <laughs> i'm just crying <laughs> 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 Also, I'm, I get my dick and it barely feels. I'm like deeper. That <laughs> come on, is it in yet? Yeah, don't go, don't go easy on me, baby. <laughs> I'm on all fours, with my, I'm just leaning my head on my hands and my elbows are on the bed. I'm, come on, baby, give it. You know, go, go to town, baby. Yeah, come on, now put it all in. What do you mean it's, it's all in? You got something? Come on. Nah, don't go easy on me, baby. I can take it. I promise you. Come on. Break it back there. Hit me a crack. Come on. Spit in the back of my head. Let's do it. Donkey punch me. That'd be funny, yeah. You get fucked by the size of your own dick and you're like, barely felt. (laughs) (laughs) Does that mean my ass is small or my dick is small? My ass is huge. Hey, ladies. Don't have a big dick, but my ass is huge. Huge asshole. Where are you going? This? Uh, it's a Manhattan. Don't come back. <laughs> Manhattan for me and the ladies. Do you like a guy with a big ass? Um. Anyway, so he... Uh, he came out and he was talking about the fucking... Um, he came out. Read up there. He has some quotes right there. Um about exactly when when he was telling everyone that he was being naked. Is that the link I just sent you or no? Yeah, there we go. This is what exactly he said. And this is a very, you know, artsy bullshit thing. Um, It's also the the quote from a guy who has a fucking massive weapon. Mm. Mm. Um, he goes, it's a like his friends... Um, hold on, let me just read the whole thing. Nude images and video of Jesse Williams starring in Broadway's Take Me Out! Leaked. <laughs> it leaked it on Monday night. By the way, if you watch the video or do you see the photos, it does look like he's pissing or something. I don't know if there's like some sort of a, it's like a champagne scene. It's probably a shower scene. It does. Oh, it's a shower oh, scene? Oh, yeah, because I read it says most of the play takes place in the locker room. Told you, I called it. Who called it? Who called it? I definitely have not seen this show. It's definitely not my favorite show. I definitely don't know. (laughs) Is it a musical too? That'd be so funny if it's a musical. I heard he's gay. I heard he's gay. I heard he's gay. I might be gay, but I can throw the ball the fastest. Look at his giant bat. He's got a giant bat. He's got a big dick. And then someone else gone. We don't have room for big dicks on this team. <laughs> ta, ta, cha, ta, ta. <laughs> and everyone's like, wow, wow. Realistically, that was just a bunch of Hollywood, like, you know, Broadway producers who want to see a guy with a massive <laughs> the dick. That's what <laughs> it's like, but you can get away with it in this world. It's like, no, it's art. It's like, it's like when they did it with cuties. Remember cuties? Hmm. Where they had a bunch of hot little girls <laughs> dressed all sexy. And um, where it was just like, it seems like there's, you know, I understand that art is a great get out of jail free thing. It's like a lot of comedians who aren't very good at it. We go, ah, it's art. It's up to, it's up to interpretation, you know? Well, yeah, okay, well, I interpreted, everyone interprets that as bad. Just so you know. Right. Just so you know. Your art is bad. The, fa- the masses have agreed that yours sucks. <laughs> Cuties was a funny one. Yeah, so. That was like one where it's like you could have done it anyway, and this is just their version of cuties. They're like, no, it's like it's it's a it's a tale of triumph. 
and how you can overcome homophobia in 2022 because <laughs> everybody knows how hard it is to come out as gay um it's a and i'm sorry if you're a young gay man who's, who's in the closet it could be hard <laughs> it, it, it's hard if you're if you're not like woo right if you're just like Way! you know if you're like turbo gay <laughs> if you're just like if you're just fucking woo watch what happens live you know Andy Cohn fucking Kesha you know it's like, I can't name whatever the modern day version of Kesha is right. like if you're just like fucking woo it's like yeah we know you know like you cartwheeling into the room sit down <laughs> papa I've got to tell you something <laughs> this is my truth and he's like stop I know I know I know all the boys at the bar have been bullying me since you were since your first words were com com <laughs> your first word was com com they say about you when you were born the fucking the, when the doctor slapped your ass you said thanks and that's for another come on yeah fucking <laughs> 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 you can. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that about you. It's t it is tougher to like if you're just like, I'd imagine like for Tim Dillon, you know that type of a gay guy who's lying for his career. No, <laughs> the, the, the type of gay guy who's like you wouldn't know it. Mm. You know, you just wouldn't know. It must be t more difficult for that. I don't know. Is this just a gay episode? A big gay episode? It's called your podcast. <laughs> the big gay episode. New title. <laughs> the big gay episode <laughs> is so funny. I get us our most views. <laughs> God damn it! That's a good title. And and so he came out. Whatever. So they do the thing. He came out. It's a body. Once you see it, you realize it's whatever. It's a boy. And Jesse said on the Watch What Happens Live after show, I just have to make it not that big of a deal. What do you mean it's a boy? He's talking about oh, he's talking about his dick. He, like he's like talks like... he talks about his dick like it's a second person <laughs> like the way like the way um who's a guy from Motley Crue who who was who was banging uh, Nicky, Tommy Lee yeah Tommy Lee Tommy yeah. Lee yeah 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 and Tommy Lee's book he gave his dick a voice and he has like a dialogue with his dick and his <laughs> dick's like get in there and fuck him bro Holy he's shit. like no man I'm trying not to fuck everyone dude and then his dick's like come on bro don't be a pussy bro this is what we do we fuck I'm a big dick I've got a voice so that's why he's like it's a boy <laughs> don't assume it's gender <laughs> um, it's a body once you see it you realize it's a boy you look, like you listen it would be worse if he had a tiny one and it was like Leak down, you kind of go, but this is just good. This is just good for business. In the play, Williams plays a baseball player who comes out of the height of his success and counters problems because of it. Earlier this month, the actor told Page Six he was initially terrified of the role and the nude scene, but eventually got over it. Did you? <laughs> Which you're fucking. It looks like a roll. It, it looks like a rolled up tell. <laughs> it, look <laughs> it looks like a fucking. What do they call it when they fucking imprison a Fifi or a Fufu or whatever? A oh, yeah, yeah. They when they get their tail, they roll it up, and then you roll into the shape of a pussy. That's what his dick looks like. <laughs> his dick is so big, I could wrap it around my dick and fuck his dick. <laughs> That's how big his dick is. It would wrap around me like an anaconda, just the fucking <laughs> <laughs> like one of those shitty tattoos of a snake going up a sword. That's the way he could wrap his dick around and jerk me off the barber pole. from across the room. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um. Anyway, so that's it, listen. And then a lot of people are going, this is whatever. Sure, you shouldn't be taking photos of someone's dick and post them online. But in the grand scheme of things... Um, I mean, you're supposed to not to. Are you supposed to not take a photo of this guy's yeah, big dick and post on. it online? <laughs> but, like, it's just funny. You couldn't, you know... I know I always bring it down to the roles. If the roles are reversed, it'd be very hard for this to be, like, a fucking you know a lesbian athlete when has that ever happened you know <laughs> what it is name, name me one <laughs> honestly name me one single professional female athlete that's gay <laughs> i don't believe it i mean i couldn't but it's I'm not sure it's... the whole wmba <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah which i can't name a single person from yeah yeah right yeah <laughs> <laughs> it is it's just i don't know what it is something about that testosterone dude <laughs> What's the correlation there? 
Anyway, but imagine that. And then it's just like some chick with fucking great tits and a big long labia. And all, the yeah, guys, yeah. All, all these all these guys, like fuck all these Harvey Weinstein style guys going, yeah, go down on her. Eat her box. Yeah, the WNBA. What's the fucking, what's the, the slogan? Of the slogan WNBA. What do you reckon that is? Count it. <laughs> Count it. The Broadway show. Watch me work. Is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> Watch me fucking eat muff. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Muff divers. <laughs> Inside the ring. Whatever it could be. Something like that. There's the story. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a foul inside the box. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. The story of the first gay soccer player from Capoala, New Mexico. Or Mexico. <laughs> Just some Mexican. You got you you of this glaces family. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Mexican accent? Oh, I'm so sleepy. You got you have this. I'm not Papa, Mama. I shall play soccer. I shall play soccer, for Mama. And then uh, then she's a she's a fucking rug And they're like, we don't like gays on this team. And then she scores a, she scores a free kick in off the crossbar. And next thing you know, her and her friends are all just sucking tits. <laughs> and all the boys, all the boys at Broadway just throwing money. Up. Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. suck those tits, lezer. You lezer. How gay are you? Kind of gay. I got the cure, baby. <laughs> and then you fucking sending your photos across Twitter. Some chick got her. Like, honestly, this is crazy. Can't be leaking out. <laughs> Leaks are, particu- are only good for women. That's what you get for having a body. Don't take photos of yourself naked if no one them leaked. Do you remember that happening? Yeah. Remember that? That was a, that was a cultural moment. Yeah. That's like, a, it's funny, right? I don't remember that. You don't remember the happening? No, old are you? Young. 24. <laughs> Probably uh, 10 years ago. The happening. Really? Yeah. yeah. Just around when Jeez. I started fapping. Mm. I'm surprised it wasn't. It didn't get your first. It, you didn't get your first fap off to the fappening. Oh yeah, 2014. That was a while ago. So eight years ago. Yeah, it was the fappening, and what happened was a guy. Like I guess one guy led the attack. Some hacker or something. Uh, yeah, there was a hacker, and what they did was they were able to log into Apple's iCloud and I guess a lot of people it was a very easily hacked most people just have their like most celebrities this is the funny thing they found out like most celebrities like their emails are just like Tom Cruise yeah, at yeah. gmail.com <laughs> like yeah. like all these celebrities were just like yeah Scarlett Johansson at gmail.com all their passwords are passwords yeah yeah, yeah password yeah. one two three like all these celebrities are just like <laughs> so they logged in and they were able to get access to all their photos and then so they downloaded loads of them and then they released them all at once up on 4chan or one of those yeah, other yeah. things so there was a lot of them there was like you know, here's the thing is that all these news that get leaked usually don't, they, they're fine. But in terms of what these celebrities usually look like, mm, yeah, they, um, it's no production value. There's no production. They don't have their, they don't have their usual Photoshop. Right. They're not airbrushed. They don't have their like, it's, it's just like them standing around in the bathroom. The you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Who's the, who, <laughs> um, there's been a lot of them. Let's go through the list there. Who's on the fappening? Just out of curiosity, just to remind myself. I remember Kirsten does. Yeah, go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Go up. Kay Upton oh, yeah, was on yeah, it, yeah. and then I don't know if she's still with that guy. She was dating a baseball player, um, and like there was a photo of her with her ass covered in cum. All oh, right, real raw, like real raw, filthy stuff. Mm-hmm. And you should never even click on it. Don't even click on this <laughs> stuff. Kirsten Dunst was on it, and um, who else was on it? Ariana Grande. Interesting. Kelly Kuka. How old was she then? <laughs> <laughs> this was eight years ago. How old is Ariana Grande? She must be 26, is she? She's 28. Good, 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 good. Thank God. <laughs> Boo. Olympic gymnast, Michaela. Yeah, there was people that weren't even like hot. You know, we don't even want to <laughs> look. Nick Hogan. Um, Who's that? Is that Hulk Hogan's son? Uh, yeah. Yep. Well, like, wow, what? <laughs> It's not funny when it's a guy. It's not fun when it's a guy. 
and there's been loads of fappenings. Um, a lot of people came out and said it was like a, it was like a real sexist thing. Seth Rogen obviously fucking spoke out about it. Mm. When is he not? Lena Dunham. Lena Dunham, <laughs> Seth Rogen, a real pile of dickheads, <laughs> just always having an opinion that's boring. Um, can you always? It's always just doing the right thing. Also, all these celebrities. Look, I know. Look, I just. It's not. Good to have your nude anything stolen. It's a fucking invasion of privacy. You're a celebrity. This is the horrible, toxic world that we live in. That there's a potential for everything you do. It's just it's the sacrifice for selling your image to the world. Everyone knows your name, and that's why you get a lot of money. And therefore, people knowing you for being popular, they want to make money off you and and infringe on your um personal life and i get that that's like shitty but at the same time like in the grand scheme of things oh did someone see your tits kate upton (laughs) come on (laughs) like so what what's the difference you're already posing on a beach Hmm. i'm not saying like it's right but i'm saying of all the things for you to get the fuck over very fast Hmm. is someone seeing a photo of you naked it's not like they. It's not like there were videos of them jerking off to child porn or something weird that would actually <laughs> hurt your career. It was just some. It was like your nudes that you took. You should have taken more precautions or taken better nudes if you don't want them leaked. Your nudes be getting leaked, babe. That's what's happening. Nudes be getting leaked. You gotta be. You gotta prepare. You gotta prepare for the internet to be fucking cracking it to your stuff. I think Rihanna was in there too. I don't know if that was real or not. Um. But it is a kind of a thing of like when the Me Too movement then came around, all this got like pushed away. Yeah. Hmm. You know, like Scarlett Johansson, did, did, did a photo of your tits get leaked? You know what? You're probably already acting in another. I, I do understand there's like a trust thing or not a trust thing. It's like an invasion of privacy and it's, a, it's immoral to do that to people. But I'm just saying in terms of the hierarchy of sexual assault and stuff, it's more of a bummer. Mm. It's like a bummer. <laughs> but did you did you lose work over it? Did someone see Kirsten Dunst's naked body and go, ugh, and then she goes, yeah, you're not in the new Spider-Man? Mm. Is that what happened? <laughs> like, I, I, like that, it all seemed fine. Also, like, no one really cares about the size of your dick. It's not a thing. It, the only thing that could be embarrassing would be, like, if, the, if it was, like, you having a shit or something. Or <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> but even then, honestly, I think... If if they always say people are record, you're supposed to cover the um, you're supposed to cover the camera on your laptop mm. because like someone in the Middle East is recording you jerking off. Mm. It's like wh- you know at this point whatever, just ask me, <laughs> yeah. just fucking yeah. ask me, dude. <laughs> Sign up for the Patreon, hundred dollars a month. That's the, that's the new yeah. tier. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you if you wanted, <laughs> why are you playing so hard to get? Just come <laughs> on, get in here. <laughs> um, it just it is it, there is a kind of a get the fuck over it thing, mm. right? And have a look at the list there if you're just curious. Is there a list of the full people? If you scroll down. Did you scroll down on the last one? I'm sure there's a... Like the victims or something. You go up your... You go go, go down? <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Go down a little bit. Go keep going. No, keep, stop. Look, is it, what's this? All this is imagery of new celebrities. List of gate scandals and country sexing. All right. There's no list. Well... Let me know, guys, in the comments below. Who is your favorite fappening <laughs> leak? And was any of them like particularly good? I always felt like mm-hmm. they were all just like, there's always just some girl lying in a bed with a tit hanging out, and you're just like, <laughs> you know, it's not that's not for me. Mm-hmm. If it was, if she sent it directly to me, <laughs> if <there's> any of <laughs> you whores at home <laughs> want to send me nudes, feel free. Mm-hmm. Just so you know, because I'm in a very committed relationship, mm-hmm. and I'm not allowed like do that type of stuff. But I can't stop it if you guys. It's my birthday next week too. Just decide <laughs> to send me nudes of yourself. Don't be like fucking finding photos of people on the internet and sending me like that. That's no. That's no good. I want it. It needs to be pure. You. I need to. I need today's newspaper, right? <laughs> Covering your fucking stretch marks. <laughs> and if you're a fat old lady, just like just pull the tit out like that. You know, keep the keep the top on and pull the titty out. That's like that's always a gross one. There's something about. <laughs> Something about, something about a gross woman gets me going. Yeah. Like a woman in her fucking mid thirties and saggy tits. <laughs> oh, saggy tits and <laughs> and and a, and a you know, wrinkly neck. You know that little sort of gobble gobble. Yeah. Like, yeah, that kind of a thing. 
you know, and then she has like a lesbian haircut or something for some reason. <laughs> Women get to a certain age where they just go, all right, I'm cutting off the hair. Yeah. You know, I'm too busy cooking. They're always cooking. <laughs> they're in the kitchen. They're cooking. They can't have time for hair or whatever, so they just cut it off. <laughs> yeah, that's that's my type of woman right there. So send me in some shit. Um, I wanted to talk about um Casey White and Vicky White. Um, if you guys aren't keeping up with this story, um, uh, pretty much Casey White was a guy. He escaped from prison um almost two weeks ago, and Vicky White, no relation, oddly, um, was the um. Prison, the uh, prison warden, mm. for lack of a better word, right now, that helped him uh, escape, and they've been gone missing for the last couple of weeks. So it's an interesting story. It's a love story, <laughs> guys. Isn't that cute? You never know who you're gonna fall in love with, and <laughs> you just don't know, guys. So whoever you are out there, and you're watching right now, and I know it's tough. You know, your last boyfriend, he left you. You're th- you're 34 years old. You've been on the apps. You can't find anyone good. See, all the good ones are either gay or they're taken. And you just never know. But listen, don't give up, ladies, because you might find yourself falling in love with a man who stabbed a woman to death. And now he's doing mm-hmm. life in prison. <laughs> so, like, there are, there's a chance for everyone. Also, if you can't find love, look at look at that. <laughs> this guy is out there getting pussy. Dude, if, you, if any of my incel fans are out there, you know, get some pussy, dude. Because this guy's in prison and he stabbed a woman to death. And women will actually, not only do they not find that repulsive, they find it attractive. Women love a prison guy. Mm. There's something in their brain. I did an old episode available on Patreon um, now where I, I went through a dating site for prison inmates. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, you can get like find PayPals and it's like, a, not PayPals, uh, pen pals. Yeah. But it's not just friendship. It's like you go through this thing. So you, I did it before. I I, I felt bad then because it's like they're real face and shit. <laughs> but <laughs> they all they all like you know they're in prison for whatever, selling crack or who knows. It's all sorts of a arra- I think you can filter through you know the crime. <laughs> yeah. <That> rules. <laughs> <laughs> you can filter by crime. There's like a Match. dot com yeah. thing. He goes, "Are you into arsonry? <laughs> <laughs> Are you into c- car bombs? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> sure. I'm like <laughs> hooking things up." I don't want any blue collar crime. I'm here specifically for a woman who will uh, uh, stab my kids. <laughs> and that's what I'm looking for. Ooh, this girl, she's doing uh, 14, the 40 to life for microwaving her son. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I went through that. So you can meet up with these guys. But like, God, I, I can't imagine many guys are hitting up that. Like, that's just. Women have this weird thing in their brain. Not all of them, obviously, but like. You know when, uh, obviously, Ted Bundy is the famous example. Hmm. He fucking, oh, yeah. uh, he, you know, he ladies killed. Yeah, the ladies loved him. They showed <laughs> up. They'd be flashing their tits. They were like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, those guys were out there. Like, it was a One Direction concert. They're like, yeah, he's innocent. <laughs> I can just tell because he's, like, he's hot. <laughs> they love a powerful guy like that. Men are just like, I've never heard of that. A guy is like the opposite. A guy's like, women will be like, in a very particular scenario, be attracted to someone who's fucked up. Whereas a guy is like retarded and he's like, will fuck the wrong thing at any moment. Mm. It's not just like, oh, there's some bitch on TV who, you know, blew up an abortion clinic. Let me go fuck her. Let me go down <laughs> on her in the bathroom of the fucking courthouse. And uh, it's more like, oh no. My cousin's daughter is looking at me like, oh, no, my niece. My niece is 14 and she's getting. <laughs> That's like guys are like just reckless behavior. It's like, I don't know. Is that you, your special needs? Like, yeah, how bad on the inside? <laughs> the outside, you're looking good, baby. I don't. But on the inside, how bad is that? Will I go to prison for having sex with you? That's like guys are just like reckless all the time. Right. It's just foolishness. Don't be coming at me with any of that foolishness. But it is funny that women will go above and beyond. So this woman, um, we don't exactly know. You guys have read the story, right? We don't exactly know. Um, uh, it was in Alabama, and then they fled to Tennessee, and then from Tennessee to Indiana. Is that correct? <laughs> is that even geographically <laughs> correct? This is my thing. Um, so what happened was they they had it all mapped out, and the guy's in prison for um, murder. Is that correct? Someone talk. 
Yeah, he was stabbed stabbed the woman. I don't know if she died, but oh wow, he was serving a seventy five year sentence for like carjackings and all sorts of just like all sorts an of, accumulation of yeah, he was a piece of shit. Yeah, an absolute. He's six, charming devil. Yeah, he's six. <laughs> he's six foot nine. All right. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> You want some cornbread, Mr. Jangles? <laughs> I can see. <laughs> I can see the evil. Um, yeah, so he's just this big fucking Andre the Giant style spastic. Maybe when he maybe he didn't even mean to hurt the, like that woman. He just like tried to hug her yeah, and just like fucking Lenny. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a big big fucking dumb white Lenny. Well, Lenny's white, whatever. Um so he convinced this lady, um, who's also named White, nothing to do with him, that he loved her, and then that they were to escape. And she pretended he was going for a mental evaluation, a psychiatric, a mental health evaluation. And they just left the prison. And um, she got a lift to work that day. She had a they had they had a. A fake car. They bought a car that was already as a getaway or something. And then she also did something weird with her car where she showed up to work and um or she was on her way to work and she hid her car somewhere for them to also use that as a getaway. And she got someone else that she worked with to drive her to where she goes, Oh no, I locked myself out of the car today. Can you give me a lift? Mm. Or whatever. And they had already practiced the escape the week before, the two weeks before that, they escaped for like 40 minutes and they just brought them to like a car park and they just brought them back and they're like, all right, no one noticed. So it took them three hours they were gone um, before they got out. But this is good. This is like, a, you know, this poor girl. And so eventually they were caught and um, they were, it was a, a high speed um, getaway. He Oh, they abandoned the first car. They bought another car. The cops eventually found the guy who bought who sold him the other car like they they came in and I don't know what he was wearing but he's like this obviously this gigantic guy's like hello I would like to buy a getaway vehicle I mean a car and then the guy's like well you can have this one good and and then they're like I'll take it how much <laughs> and he just sold it for he's like there's no license plates by the way and the guy was like that's okay and he got in his giant car and drove off down the road and, and they the cops eventually caught up with them. There was a high-speed chase. A Cadillac um, flipped over. And um, the the Vicky White, she shot herself in the head. She didn't want to go through the embarrassment of being caught, I guess. Which is funny because he was like, I've been there before, baby. There's only two days in prison, the day you walk in and the day you walk out. He's just a big fucking, oh, no. She blew a bang-bang in her head. <laughs> He's just a big retard. <laughs> She's like, I love him. He's got a heart of gold. <laughs> and I don't, you never really hear about women like this, though, right? Like, the other way around. Like, you hear about dumb guys who date girls from like, from money. It's more like a personal, like, he'd be like a, it's like the opposite. He's, I feel like he was pretending to be in love with this girl. So he could convince her to help him break out, mm. right? Maybe he was in love with her. Who knows? Maybe she gave him chocolate or something. <laughs> Some sort of special treats. <laughs> and, uh, but when it's like the other way around, it's usually s some girl who's cheating on her boyfriend, but he's like a rich little Indian nerd or something mm. like that. And all her friends are like, dude, she's a hoe. And he's like, I don't know. I like her. She, lo she loves me. <laughs> she would never. And he's like, look at her fake ass, dude. You think you don't <laughs> fucking grow a fake asses and banging someone else? <laughs> Uh, and then he comes out, and there was a wreckage, and then he came out and goes, please help my wife. She shot herself in the head. Um, it wasn't clear why he referred to Vicky as his wife, but the U.S. Marshal said there's no evidence that they were married. It also said that he was wearing a wig, um, <laughs> which is so funny. I don't know if there's have any images of him actually in the wig, but what did he say he was again? Six foot nine? Six nine. He's six foot nine. <laughs> Gigantic. We got a photo of him here getting arrested, like going into, back into prison, and he's wearing orange jumpsuit. I hope to assume he wasn't wearing an orange jumpsuit. They also rented, during those the, the 11 days that they were missing, they rented a motel. They got a homeless guy <laughs> to go in and check them into the hotel, and they just gave him cash. And then when they were arrested, there was like 29 grand worth of... um. 
They had twenty nine dollars, twenty nine thousand dollars in cash and a bunch of guns. Mm. So there they are. They, that's how you fall in love. Listen, it, I'm looking forward to the movie. I think it will be pretty <laughs> sick. <laughs> but uh, that's what you got to do. You got to get a girl like that. Mm. You know, you got to get yourself a girl who will ride help you. Die. A real ride or die, <laughs> bitch. I don't know how. Again, he like by the laws of proportion, you'd imagine his cock is fucking. He would put <laughs> he, he put out fucking Jesse Williams to shame this guy. He looks at Jesse Williams cock and goes, "Oh my god, that's so small and embarrassing." Um. So, but I like the idea of like what type of wig was it? I like that it was like just like a blonde wig, like a short sort of a bowl cut type of thing. <laughs> I'm just a pretty lady. <laughs> like someone pulls him over. <laughs> Someone pulls him over and he has like lipstick on and stuff. He's like, he's like, what seems to be the problem, <laughs> officer? He's like, um, we've got suspicion that there was a guy. We were looking for a fugitive. He broke out of prison two weeks ago. Well, <laughs> that's not me. I'm the lady. Are you misgendering me, officer? And he's like, um, uh, are you afraid to go? Because <laughs> he's afraid he's going to lose his job for misgendering this person. I'm not a serial. I'm not a killer at all. Um. Well, good look, good for that. I love a good prison story. I, and you, you know, you might as well escape if you're doing seventy-five. Mm. Sure, that must be your whole life. Look, what what else are you gonna do? I. Oh yeah. What could you do? How can you live that? That's another one. If I was set, if I was sent to prison, and if I was sent to prison, and they. Where like, all right, it's the rest of your life. How can you even come to terms with that? Like, there's something to be like, even if they said, all right, 20 years ago, all right, 20 years I'll be back out. It's going to suck. But it's like forever. Surely, then you're like, all right, I'm just going to fucking, next time I get an opportunity, one of these prison wardens, I'm just fucking slicing his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't you do something like that? Wouldn't you just get involved in a good old-fashioned shower <laughs> sex? Good old-fashioned shower, se- <laughs> shower sex. Right? Isn't that yeah. something you do? All bets are off. Kill the time? I don't know. What are you going to read? Write a book? Fuck that. I'm going to better myself for what? I'm in prison. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> work out? No. That's gay. I only work out for women. I guess you try to work out to survive <laughs> so that the bigger guys don't beat the fuck out of you. But, like, again, it's over. It's done. Maybe nowadays it's different. They've got, like, fucking iPads and stuff and Netflix. <laughs> so it's like, you know... Hey, there's a new season of Better Finish Up, Better Call Saul or whatever, you know? <laughs> Something like that. Um, all right. Well, that was a good little prison story. I wish him the best. <laughs> I hope he I hope he gets out again. And, uh, you know, it's just these women just keep doing these things. There was the other story. Remember, there's two guys from upstate New York. They also did the same thing. There was like a, one guy was banging the prison warden right right and then the other guy found out so then he blackmailed her into fucking him too and then she told the first guy and then the first guy was angry and then they i don't know but but they ended up orchestrating an escape she helped them escape and then they went on the run for like fucking three four weeks and then people i I can't remember how it i know one of them got shot and then he bled out and then i think the other one may have died from like some sort of like a poisoning they kept finding like rags of shit and stuff because that's like they was leaving a trail behind he got diarrhea from drinking river water or something and then he uh so they were just like following just some violent diarrhea <laughs> that must be that's tough i want to see bear grills do that yeah. oh, i'm going to escape from prison here today now you never want to drink directly from the water but it might just give you the valuable nutrients you need to survive and get yourself across the canadian border um Yep. All right. Listen, that must be about four hours, was it? Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll just wrap it up. Listen, guys, if you want more episode, uh, thank you so much for everyone. Make sure you hit subscribe. You've already watched this long. Uh, if you listen, go to the YouTube channel, hit subscribe. And um, if you want, head over to patreon.com slash column material. You'll get more episodes. There's hours and hours and hours of stuff going on there. It helps keep the lights running in this place. And we couldn't do it without that. So uh, thank you very much. Enjoy. Bye.